Welcome to Mid-South Flavor, I'm Jay. Today, we're gonna make some smoked pork chops on the pellet grill. Before we head out to the pellet grill, the first thing we need to do is season up these pork chops. Today, I've got about a dozen of these center cut pork chops. They're small in size, but the size seems to work great for us. It works great on the pellet grill. So the first thing we're gonna do is season these up. Now this is just a custom uh, mixture that I have here, uh, but you can use pretty much any type of seasoning that you like. I'll leave a link to uh, some of our favorite seasoning down in the description below this video. So we're just gonna liberally coat these pork chops. Once we have one side completely coated, pat it down a little bit, flip them over, and we're gonna coat the other side. Now that both sides of these are coated, they look good, we're gonna put them in this Ziploc bag. We're gonna put them in the refrigerator for about an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer. If you wanna leave them overnight, that's fine. It's just gonna soak up some of this flavor. So yeah, we're gonna put them in the bag, put them in the refrigerator, and then we'll check back when they're ready to go on the grill. Now we're back outside and it is hot outside. It's about 90 something degrees. The heat index is 110 degrees, I believe. So yeah, we're gonna to try to make this quick, but we've got our pork chops all seasoned up. They've been in the refrigerator now for two or three hours actually. Let them set. My pellet smoker is heating up. Um, it's pretty much up to temperature now. I'm using the Camp Chef Woodwind pellet smoker. I'm turning this on the high smoke setting. Uh, this temperature is gonna fluctuate somewhere uh, in between like 200 uh, degrees up to 220 degrees, uh, maybe just a little bit less than that even. So yeah, it's gonna fluctuate there, give us a lot of smoke, and then kind of keep it in that temperature range. Uh, the pellets I'm using today are the Lumberjack Competition Pellets. They are my favorite pellets to use. They are wonderful, give such a good flavor. Uh, with these are seasoned up i'm going to put them over here on the pellet grill we're going to let them go for an hour going to flip these after 30 minutes uh, and then we'll see where they're at probably going to sear them off and add some barbecue sauce but let's get these on the pellet grill now uh, so they can get to cooking i'm going to keep these kind of in the center of the grill if i can uh, the more that you have on the back or front edge they get a little more well done so i'm going to keep these as close to the center of the pellet grill that i can the pork chops are on there. I'll check back in about 30 minutes when it's time to flip them. These pork chops have actually went for an hour and a half. That's simply because we really like these well done. So just check the temperature. When they get up to the temperature that you want them to be, then you can pull them off. But we're actually gonna put them over here on the sear box for just a little bit to get a little bit of sear on them. This pellet grill comes with a gas sear box that gets up to like 900 degrees. So yeah, I've got it heating up now. We'll pop them over on the sear box, get a little bit of sear on these pork chops. Man, these look good. We're not gonna leave them on here long. We just want a little bit more color on them. Now that we've got these seared up, we're actually going to brush on some of my favorite barbecue sauce, the Country Bob's barbecue sauce. If you haven't tried this, you've got to give it a try. We're just gonna brush a little bit of this barbecue sauce on and let it set for about 10 minutes or so just so it kind of tacks up on these pork chops. These pork chops are ready to pull off. I'm only gonna pull one of them off to sample it here because we have flies like crazy. I don't know about your part of the country, but the flies are horrible here, so since I'm outside, I'm only gonna pull one of these off to sample it. So let me get this off and I'll give it a try. Here we go, guys. This looks and smells delicious. I'm anxious to cut into it, see what it tastes like. Not sure how well you can see it, but we got a good pink smoke ring going on on this. So yeah, I have a feeling this will be good. That was a big bite, that was good. That was delicious. Yes, I love the flavor of these pork chops fixed on the pellet smoker. You can't go wrong by trying this. Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite way to fix pork chops. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, on the grill or in the kitchen, here in the Mid-South, we do flavor.